All right, guys, so I just want to walk you through the entire construction process here that we did for our floor deck. So we had our foundation. We wanted to make sure that we had a sill gasket, which is this foam stuff that goes underneath it. And what that does, it provides a little break between our pressure treated plate and our foundation itself. And also it makes everything weather tight. So there's no um, draft or anything coming into the house. Then once we have our pressure treated plate, then we're using our two by tens in order to do a floor deck. So on this side right here, where we're extending our kitchen, all we did is sister it. And to me, this is the strongest way because we're still using the concrete foundation that we have in there uh, as our load bearing kind of point there. So that goes in over there, sisters it, we nail it together, then go out this way. And then when we go into the house itself, what we have here, this is our, gonna be our front door when you walk in. Actually, you'll walk in right here. So then you will come into here. This will be our, come on. This will be our mudroom. So you walk in here, we'll have a bunch of like uh, built-ins in, built right here for our uh, clothes and whatnot. And then on this side, we're going to have our pantry. And we wanted to make sure that inside the house, everything flowed together. We didn't wanna have any step downs or step ups into the house itself. So for us to do that, what we did is the same thing we did over there, where we put sill gasket underneath there, then we have pressure treated plate, and then we made our own beam in order to support this entire thing. Because if we want, if we don't have this supported, then there'd be a lot of that trampoline effect. Uh, additionally, what you want to do is then you add these stabilizing blocks on both sides in order to make them strong. Uh, for us, we were able to make all of this plumb, well, not plumb, but everything perfectly level so that when we go to tile this area, this entire area, the mudroom, the pantry, and into the kitchen, I believe, I gotta ask my wife, will be tiled, but at least this for sure. And then later on, we'll have a door over here and kind of walking into our bonus room, eventually going to be a bonus room. So next, what we're gonna do is insulate all of this and put our subfloor in on top of it, and that's it. But I just wanted to walk you through our entire process of why we did things the way we did it and I hope you guys enjoyed it so make sure to hit follow and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one